Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Covered Call Car Session video. I'm on the road, I wanna talk covered calls. Well, hey, look, I am on the road. We are talking covered calls. I uh, do this all the time. These are my unedited car session videos, so you gotta give me a little runway. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about Rocket Mortgage um, and uh, how it spiked some 47% yesterday. We're gonna talk about that and how to play it or how I'm gonna play it. Now, I'm also gonna let you know what I did with my cash secure put. Now, many of you may remember, um, I did a video where because Rocket Mortgage was trading in such a range, I was gonna go ahead and uh, play the cash secure put at the bottom of that range and uh, turned out to be a good play. I actually did that on 2,000 shares twice. Twice, it was such a good trade. The range was so good. But now Rocket Mortgage is not trading in that range and uh, in fact, it has spiked to some $39, $40 a share. And there's reasons behind that. We're gonna talk about that here in this video. So let's go ahead and get to this because a lot of you have played Rocket Mortgage, are playing Rocket Mortgage, and uh, you'd like to know my thoughts and where I'm at with it right now. So look, if you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there and it's free. I come back every week, talk to you about my trades. Uh, to be honest with you, I hope you learn something. Uh, a lot of people do not like to read books, so they like to hear stories where I do my trades, I have a mindset. Uh, I talk about the mindset, and a lot of people seem to learn from that. I bring it to you straight talk style, so we cut down the hurdles of all the uh, professional lingo that uh, selling premium brings. I like to just keep it as simple as possible. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It let's me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what we're doing is this. I'd love 200 likes again. Man, you just don't understand. When I, when I check my videos, I'm always looking to see if you guys like the video. And uh, I see the likes, the dislikes. I get it. Not everybody digs all the, all the chit chat. They wanna get straight to the trade. But hey, look, I look at it like this. We're just talking, right? Who out there is just talking with you? And with that said, that's what I love to do. I love to motivate and inspire. So bang that like button. It really jacks me up to come back to do the next Red Hot Covered Call video. So let's get to this. Um, Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage has done a couple things. And as a collective, the stock has rallied and it's doubled. I mean, when I did that video where I'm in Ben, um, doing that live video where I talk about the trading range, where the trading range at the time was anywhere between 1950 and 23, I was gonna trade the range. And every time uh, Rocket Mortgage would rally higher and it would dip below the Keltner Channel mid, I would look to uh, sell a cash secure put about 50 cents under the support and that worked out major because even though even though rocket mortgage isn't uh, in favor at this point at this point it was pretty bankable that it would get down to 50 pardon me 1950 1940 and then it would rally it's as if wall street would just play the range and it would rally above uh, 20 and 21 maybe 22 and then peel back so what I did in that video, I told you I, I was gonna go big ball player. I was so confident in that range, I was going to just do a uh, 19 strike. Remember, it was trading around, I think 1975. I did the 19 strike. So it, I did the cash secure put that's under support. I always tell you, I love to uh, find the support, find the stock that's trading near support, a great stock, S&P type stock, because I feel Wall Street will buy them back at some point. Well, I did that on 2,000 shares and uh, Rocket Mortgage did just that, rallied a little bit higher. 
and uh, bought that option back for pennies. We did it again. As Rocket Mortgage traded back down near 20 bucks, I went ahead and sold the same 19 strike. Didn't get as much on the first time, but did it again, 2,000 shares. And here we are. So before earnings, and this is just like three days ago, before earnings, Rocket Mortgage is trading anywhere between 1975 and 2075. It's really not moving. You can look at the chart. It is really trading in that range. Um, again, very bankable range. So we get earnings. And I actually think the day before earnings, it, it pops about a buck, buck 25 in anticipation of earnings. I mean, look, Rocket Mortgage is the millennials mortgage broker. They're everywhere. You can't watch a sporting event without seeing Rocket Mortgage. Millennials can get uh, mortgages just by tapping a phone. They're not an app. They're actually a mortgage company uh, with revenue. I think their revenue is something like uh, five to ten billion dollars. The CEO, when they went public, said that they look to have forty billion dollars in revenue um, in a short time frame, and that's starting to pan out because when they announced earnings. They absolutely blew away earnings. They blew it away. Sales were up something like 225%. Understand that Rocket Mortgage had 46% short interest in the stock. You know, Wall Street was really playing this in this short range. So you'd have buyers, you'd have sellers, but you'd have shorts. And those shorts are pushing down on that stock price. So it would never truly get above resistance and move higher until those shorts covered. Well, they didn't cover. Earnings hit. Just blew away the number. And the stock popped. Then we get word that the uh, Reddit crowd, and this is, uh, the Reddit crowd is now uh, code for the, um, the GameStop people. They find stocks that are on a list of highly highly shorted stocks uh, they want to catch Wall Street with their pants down their shorts down and just send out essentially a buy a buy uh, code to their message boards with all that positive buying action it just causes just this this pressure to buy 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 and then the shorts See, they, they borrow the money. They borrow the shares to short. So when the stock starts to rally, they have to cover that short. And a lot of those people are using margin, right? Some sort of margin because they have to, they have to cover their short. Otherwise, they, they would just catch on to this whole short game, this Reddit game, and just wait for the dust to settle, and they get right back to their shorting ways. Well, they can't. So they have to cover their shorts, which means they have to go in and buy shares. And uh, that causes extra buying. Then the stock pops. And yesterday, the stock was up, I think. God, it was up, I think, 17 bucks. I sent an email to my uh, premium members. You're going to love this. Um, when the stock was trading at about 29, 29. Remember, it closed at like 41. When it was trading at 29, I sent an email to my members um, saying, look, uh, earnings were great. And if this is not a Reddit pop, this is an earnings pop, this is no different than when Pinterest shocked Wall Street and spiked some 30%. So you could literally go in and buy uh, shares at 29, sell the 30 no, sell the 32 strike and get something like 250 or 350. I mean, I'm on the road. I, I'm uh, really trying to remember these. Could you imagine? Just in a week, I, it wasn't even 30 days. I sent that email out. I didn't act on it because the reason I didn't act on it is I, I'm thinking, first of all, I got this 2,000 share cash secure put I have to deal with. Um, second, I'm not really sure if this is a a Reddit spike or an earnings spike or just Wall Street is sort of 
rebooting its idea for Rocket Mortgage. So I don't do anything. What I do do is this. Do do. I decide to buy back that option. So the option, I think I got, I think I got $2. Um, it was trading for nine cents. I, I put in a bid for seven cents, eight cents. I think it ends up tripping at eight cents or nine cents. We take that off the board. Now my money's freed up. Remember, that was a cash secure put. So now my money's freed up. And if I want to do something with Rocket Mortgage, I got to free up that money. I'm not going to have multiple thousand shares, uh, thousand share options on Rocket Mortgage because if this thing was merely just a uh, stop and pop, right, a pump and dump, then I'm going to be uh, absolutely screwed. So I buy that back take it off the board. I think I made $1,950 on that. Man, I love it because my first one, I made like $2,100. So I made something like four points on just cash secure puts, trading that uh, support line cash secure put. That's bankable, man. Anything, any great stock you're watching under the Keltner Channel mid, oh, love it. I feel like I'm getting involved in a stock where the fluff is out of it. Now, let's talk about fluff. Because right now, last I checked, um, Rocket Mortgage selling off some four bucks, maybe maybe three bucks. But this, if this truly is a new Reddit situation where they're gonna pound this sucker and keep buy buy buy, hey, I could get off this video and Reddit or uh, Rocket could be trading for seventy. We don't know where this is gonna go. Remember, GameStop rallied from seventeen. To damn near 400? Now, I'm not saying Rocket's going to do that, but you just never know. So what do we do now? Well, I'm going to wait at least three days, at, at least, because we got to let this settle. The one thing we do know about Rocket is they blew away earnings. So for me, I'm going to look at this in the most simplest of terms, where it once traded between 19 and 23, with those earnings, it's now a $10 tier up stock, in my opinion. Meaning, the new range, if this Reddit thing peels back, and it really was a Reddit deal that popped at 17 bucks, which I believe it, it was, you know, Rocket's gonna now trade anywhere in the 20s. And its range might be, actually its range might be 29 and 33. This is, this is what happened with Pinterest and DraftKings and Win when I was trading Win back when it uh, first was uh, popped over 100. It seems like it would rally 10 points and it would stay there in that 10 point window and then move up higher to the next range. And that's where Pinterest is at. Remember when I started watching Pinterest? It was at 50, it popped up to 60, traded in the 60 range for weeks, if not months, then popped up to the 70s. And now it's in that 80s range. So for me, I think Rocket, with its great earnings, is probably now in that uh, 29 to 33 range now. So for the next three days, I'm really going to be watching it. Now, if it doesn't come down and Reddit has moved on, then it's now trading in the 37 to 41 range. And we need to now reset, reboot our supports. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I will tell you what I'm going to do though. I'm waiting three days. I'm hoping the excitement peels back, right? It takes out that fluff. Because remember, right now, uh, last I checked, Rocket Mortgage had a 77 RSI. Remember, anything above or near 80 is considered overbought, right? At, at some at some point, Wall Street comes back to the RSI, and they'll look at an RSI on Rocket at 77. Man, that's close to overbought. And uh, to be honest with you, they're going to take profits. Okay. Before all this started, Rocket Mortgage was trading with an RSI of 37, which is very close to the oversold indicator, and with 46% being short. Mm, you could see how this just had all of the elements 
to just pop like it did. Now the big question is, was it earnings, momentum, little Reddit, what, what was it? So let's sit back. Let's sit back for three or four days and really watch it. Hey, like I've always told you, man, the stock market is like a casino. It's open every day. And there's opportunities everywhere. Whether it's uh, with Rocket, DraftKings, Pins, uh, Pen, there's always opportunities, okay? Don't want you to feel like you're missing out because there'll always be an opportunity. In fact, I'm thinking about getting back into Pinterest. It's, it's around 80, 81. Remember, that thing popped to 87. I think it's now in that tier where it's trading at in the 80s. So 87 being the high and 81 might be support. So I'm gonna be looking at, uh, looking at playing Pinterest again. Hey, look, I'm gonna leave it there. I want you to make good decisions. Do not throw your entire bankroll at this. We always measure in, leg in. If you want 300 shares, do 100 shares first, then 200, then your final 300. Look, we have to be measured because a lot of people think this stock market's gonna peel off. I told you I think the stock market goes to, uh, the Dow goes to 35,000. We'll have to see. It's at 32 now. Um, but hey, this is what Wall Street does. Run them up, sell them off, to run them up again. And they'll do it in 10%, 10% corrections. Hey, look, the stock market is the quickest way to make wealth. And uh, they do it. So I'm going to leave it there. I want you to be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable. And hey, look, go to my website, cpt-board.com. I got a one free month offer for my upgraded premium membership. I want you to, I want you to take advantage of that. So many people are signing up. They get all kinds of emails from me. I'll tell you what, man, I put in a lot of time making sure that experience is one that you sit back and say, damn, this dude's giving it away. Love it. Love sending emails. In fact, I'm going to send an email about Rocket Mortgage uh, when I think I'm going to take action. Till next time.